distracted because of how many people are sitting around? You guys are sick. All right, it seems like we've got some real fans in here today. Somewhere I Belong, I think, was unanimously kind of the one, even from the get-go. The second that the first note started, everybody that heard it kind of went, okay, this is going to be the first single. Let's just listen to the rest of it and hope it's as good as the beginning of the song. And so what happened was it just kind of came naturally. It, it, it said that it, it wanted to be a first single, so we let it be its first single. <laughs> it's, it's obviously got our sound to it. There's heaviness and, and, and melody. Um, and, and just the way we like to put a song together, um, being that the six of us are, you know, the band, we, we make these sounds, and when they come together, that's what they, they, they sound like. The sound that, that came out on Meteora is just what is like the collective whole of all six of us when we come together, that's what comes out, and that's kind of a snapshot, Meteora is kind of a snapshot of where we're at right now. Hybrid Theory was where we were at that point, and we've had a few years to be on the road and, and see a lot of other bands perform and see how they do things, and we've learned a lot from other people. Hopefully you've got kind of an evolution, and you've got some new elements. Um, we are talking about some of the same things, and we've added some new ideas to that. Uh, lyrically, you've got some of the similar emotions that happened on Hybrid Theory, and then um, some new things that we've kind of started, started singing about, started dealing with. We're really, really proud of our new record and really excited for our fans to get a chance to hear it. Don't understand, I do 
what I can, but sometimes I don't make sense. I am. You never want to say, but I've never had a doubt. It's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you for once just to hear me out. So I go watching you turn your back like you always do. Face away and pretend that I'm not, but I'll be there because you're all that I got. I think, you know, really what we try to do is keep a really close connection with our fans. And by doing that, it, we, we put a lot of extra work on our plates. I swear to God, we have the best fans in the world. We've always thought that our audience was intelligent and we wanted to treat them as if they're intelligent. I see a lot of faces I've been seeing around for a little while. One thing I notice is there's uh, a lot more confidence in what we're doing. I think everyone in the, the band has stepped up as performers, and it really shows. I mean, we all are a self-contained unit, and we write all the songs, we come up with all the concepts for the videos, and we direct the videos, and we are involved in the marketing, and we're involved in every aspect of our um, career. And so... <clears throat> Even the type of tape that they use on the actual CD, we spend just weeks just picking out right. what type of adhesive will actually go on that. Yeah, it's crazy. The CD case. But, 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 you know, besides that, I think our music speaks for itself. We want to hear you guys this time, okay? I think the music gets fans on its own. We just provide all the other stuff so that fans can learn more about us and kind of see how we do things. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time. Oh, I know time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by. The pendulum swings Watch it count down To the end of the day The clock ticks life away It's so unreal Didn't look out below Watch the time go Right out the window Trying to hold on But didn't even know I wasted it all Just to watch you go I kept everything inside And even though I tried It all fell apart What it meant to me Will eventually be a memory
Yeah, walking into a record store here, you can the rock section section is the biggest in the store. You can have anything from like Sarah, Sarah McLaughlin in the rock section all the way to like Queens of the Stone Age to Metallica all in that section. So it's kind of like it's kind of almost Mitchell to Metallica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since we are a live band, we want songs that we know the crowd's going to really react to. And there's definitely those moments, and, and I think a lot of, there's some riffs in the guitar that I think are going to really help to achieve that live that I'm really proud of. It's something that's hard for me because, like, it's not really hard on my throat. What's hard is, is it's not hard on my head. I get these, you know, really intense headaches. Then I, you know, even singing soft songs, I get so into it I want to perform it and you know I get really physically involved in the performance of it so it kind of gets interesting you know you guys have made this experience a really really enjoyable experience for us thank you and sometimes I've experienced walking out there kind of tired from the day and once the lights go out and we're on that stage you can just hear our fans there and, and the, the it almost feeds us and it's just like you can feel like a wave of energy just hit us and it just fuels us to go and do what we do and give us that energy what I wanted to be. I look exactly like what you had always wanted to see. But not I can forget about the criminal I am. Stealing second after second just cause I know I can. But I can't pretend this is the way it'll stay. I'm just I can't pretend I'm who you want me to be. So I'm probably don't think about the, the titles and that kind of thing that much and I think our goal has always been let's let's try and sit down and, and let's try and write you know great songs and let's take as many great songs as we can write and let's let's try and make a great album in the industry there's this thing where people people will say you got to release this kind of music at this time and that kind of music at that time that's when it's big that's when it's gonna hit and we've heard that from the very beginning and we kind of just have ignored that from the very beginning and just make music that we like to make. You know, there are people out there who get paid to worry about what everybody else is doing and, you know, that's kind of a bummer of a job because you can't predict what anybody's, what's going to happen and you can't, there's no secret um, formula for success in the music business 
and nobody knows anything for certain. So all we have to all we have to worry about is you know making the kind of music that we want to make. That is something else that I've noticed on the album, and, and it's it's the uh, people. You know, there's a level of craftsmanship um, on. I think it's apparent on on all the albums, but maybe a little bit more on this one. Just to, you know, we we really wanted to pick it apart and and hopefully create something that's a little more timeless or has a sense of it at least that you can that that doesn't belong to a genre. You guys want us? Uh you guys still want us to play? Yeah. Should we keep it in? We, we really wanted to make a huge sounding record that was really just had a lot of distinctive layers and flavors and just kind of took you on this ride that never stopped and finally when it ends you kind of go, whoa, you know, and that's kind of what we wanted. We wanted people to, you know, want to listen to the record over and over again and make it really fast and a huge ride and hopefully something they want to listen to for a long time. He's been singing every word to every song. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here.
up for you, reanimation style, okay? These are the places that I can feel. 